heat transfer in solid materials. Lesson 1. How is heat transferred in solid materials? The transfer of heat through solid materials is called conduction. The heat from the lamp makes the atoms of the bottom of the nail to vibrate faster. Conduction is the heat transfer through a substance or from a substance to another by direct contact. Everything is made up of small particles. When the particles are moving faster, there is more energy and the temperature is higher. A fast-moving particles touch slow-moving particles, the energy is transferred. This causes the slower particles to speed up the faster particles to slow down. There are materials that allow heat to flow easily. We call them conductors. Metals are good conductors. That's why we use them as cooking utensils because heat moves fast through the metal pan to the food. There are materials through which heat passes slowly or not at all. We call these insulators. Some insulators are wood, plastic, fabric, and ceramic. Activity 1 Look at the pictures below. Write insulator or conductor in the space provided for the materials in the pictures. Here are the answers. Lesson 2. How is the heat travel through liquid materials? Convection is the transfer of heat from one place to another by movement of in fluids. Fluids include liquids and gases. Convection involves the motion of fluids in currents. When water is heated in a kettle, the molecules at the bottom gets heated first. The heated molecules move and rise, pushing the top molecules, which are cold, to the bottom. The colder molecules sink, get heated at the bottom, and move up. Warm fluid rises and cold fluid sinks, forming current. This movement continues until the fluid is evenly heated and you see bubbles forming. This is also true with winds and breezes. Warm air rises, expands, and cools. Cool air sinks. Convection is the reason why we have wind movements and local breezes. During daytime, air over the land is heated. It rises and expands. Cool air over the sea moves towards the land. That's why you feel a refreshing breeze by the seaside during daytime. Lesson 3. How is the heat travel through air? Heat can also be transmitted across empty space or vacuum. This is called radiation. Radiation does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. The heat we receive from the sun is radiant energy. Radiant energy travels as waves through space. Heat waves heat earth and cause warming. Our atmosphere traps the warmth. Your house gets warm when the sun's waves or rays travel through a window and are trapped in your house. Heat waves are invisible. 
all warm objects radiate or give off heat waves. Some other examples of heat transfer by radiation are the heat you feel when you are near the fire source, the heat given off by an electric heater, and the heat from the hot oven. Activity 2. Direction. Identify the heat transferred shown in each situation. Answer conduction, convection, or radiation. Here are the answers. Thank you!